Hello everybody, hope you're well. This video is all about this new device from EcoFlow, an alternator charging unit. And this solves a lot of problems. And it's quite interesting how it's been designed as well, because instantly people will think like I did, this is like a battery to battery charger. But it also enables you to charge from your battery using your alternator power up to 800 watts into an EcoFlow unit that has expandable battery sockets on. But you can also take the power out of this and charge your car or van battery up as well through this device. So it's quite different to a battery to battery unit. But let's have a look at it. So using these power units are just brilliant nowadays aren't they? I mean to be able to plug electric kettle in, run the power from your unit, no gas needed. The only problem you have is getting power back into these. And if it's a nice day, okay, you can plug it into solar, but we haven't had that many nice days recently. Or you can use the actual lead that comes with it to plug it into your car to charge it from the 12 volts of your car, which gives you about 100 watts, which takes forever. So you're quite limited. Obviously you can plug it into the mains and charge it up in the mains. But solar seems to be the main way of charging these. And it's not so bad at the moment outside. There's a lot of clouds out there. <laughs> and we haven't had the best last few months for weather. So as you know, when you get an EcoFlow or any power unit, you get a set of leads. So if you get a good quality modern one, you just get a mains lead, no charging brick. You get a set of leads that you can use for solar and for portable solar or fixed solar on your van or wherever you're going to use it. And you get one of these. And it's fair to say you can put some power in with these, but they're pretty useless. You can top your power unit up, but unless you're driving for a long period of time, it's going to take a hell of a lot of time. To charge something of this size up or any power pack really because these only do about 100 watts so this is your only way currently um, or the simplest way currently to actually charge one of these units from using your power from your vehicle through your alternator so most vehicles have an alternator or a variable type unit called an alternator there are some different ones or some very intelligent ones on modern cars now. But basically an alternator is an electric motor, but instead of putting power in it to turn the electric motor, you use a belt or some sort of drive mechanism to spin the actual motor, the alternator, to produce power from it. So instead of putting power in to run it, the engine spins the electric motor and takes power from it, and that's what charges up your van battery your car battery and any auxiliaries you, you use from that and you know people put uh, split charging units in or battery to battery units from there onwards so this new alternator charging unit from ecoflow is a little bit different so this unit and you get this little black box we'll open it and have a look in a minute and you get some cables and you don't have to go under the bonnet of your car to get to your alternator and mess about like that you actually connect the cables from this from your battery so it's like a battery to battery charger but it's using the power from the alternator into your battery monitoring the power that goes into the battery and when it gets to a certain level that's adjustable it will take it from this and put it into an EcoFlow product that has an expandable battery socket on the side and all the leads are incorporated in the kit so this is something you can fit permanently or you can fit temporary into any vehicle. Um, we're going to have a go at trying to fit this into the van. I have a quite a complicated electric system in the van already, but I'm going to see if I can add this to the system as well. Um, but this is a clever idea, as I said in the intro. It allows you to get 800 watts. So instead of the original 100 watts you get with your normal plug-in charging to your cigarette socket this will give you 800 watts to charge your power unit and it says it's eight times faster so normally it's 100 watts from your 12 volt socket with your car lead this gives you 800 watts that's why it's faster but the clever thing with this which i haven't really seen in many other products or any other products that, I, that come to mind is you can also using the app you can take the power from your power unit through this unit and charge your car battery or your van battery as well so if you're in a situation where your battery starts to go a bit faulty, you haven't got enough power in your battery, you've left your lights on or it's been drained at some point, you can use the power out of this 
through this unit, switching it over in the app to actually charge your van battery as well. It's quite clever that, isn't it? Good idea. There are some power units that you can buy jump kits for, that you plug the jump leads into this and then put it under the bonnet and jump your battery off. But this isn't a jump kit, this doesn't give you the jump kit side, it just gives you power through this, through the, from this unit through this to charge the battery up and put some additional power into it. So you've got a two-way device, you can take power from your engine, from your battery, into this and through this into the actual power unit and from your EcoFlow power unit into this back to your battery. And it is a clever device and what I mean about that it's got some intelligence built into it as well. So it's not going to drain your battery completely flat when you leave it plugged in because it's got some settings inside which allows your ignition battery, your car battery, your van battery, whatever you want to call it, to get to a particular voltage and to be stable at that voltage before it takes the power out through this to this unit. Hope that makes sense. So let's have a look what's in the box. I haven't opened this yet. That looks like the main unit. And one more box, which is the cables. So the main unit. the unit. There's some screw holes on the back there and I think somewhere in here there should be a mounting plate as well. Might be in the other box. some very big chunky cables they're the ones that obviously go to your battery it's got a I presume that's an inline fuse and there's the connector and that connector will fit into one of those and this is the lead with a, I think that's another fuse might be a bit of a transformer in it this is the lead that goes from this unit into the EcoFlow unit and then ah so that there is the fuse so that positive lead there fits into that there's a fuse and that goes onto the battery and I think there's supposed to be a bracket somewhere <laughs> here it is <laughs> so there's some screws and a mounting bracket so this enables you to fasten this to somewhere in your van or your vehicle and then this power unit this transfer unit here bolts onto there like so it's good to see that these are labeled but they're independent as well so you can only plug certain cables into them and this one looks to be the actual Bluetooth link or the Wi-Fi link that will uh, enable you to connect it to the amp. Because everything in this is controlled by the standard EcoFlow app. So my van's a VDBoo Crafter and somewhere under those beds and probably the pile of sand and muck that's underneath them is the battery. So underneath there is my battery. So I just need to remove that plastic, couple of plastic panels and that should give me access to the battery. Like most vans now, the batteries are actually inside, not underneath the bonnet, which makes the fixing for this a lot easier. There we are, a couple of panels removed, and that reveals the battery. And as you can see, there's a lot of electrics going on there. <laughs> I do have rather a complicated electric system. So basically, I need to put a positive on here, negative on there, and thankfully there's two 10mm um, extension connectors on there which I can fasten to and that's the only wiring you really need to do to your actual van. The hard bit as usual is running the cables to where you want it and mounting the unit. I need to take the positive from this, fasten it to this end of this fuse 
and then this will go to the positive of the battery. And then in this loom here, there's the negative, that will go to the negative of the battery. So I just need to put that on there and put this cover back on. There we have it, put the cover back on. It clips into place quite strong that. So I just need to put the two connectors to the battery. There we have it weighed in. There's the mains lead, there's the negative lead. Simple as that. I just need to put the pole, the floor panels back on bolt it back down and run the cables. Do you know how easy it is? I am doing this in the middle of nowhere in between the showers. I ain't even got out the van. <laughs> so there's the cable, nice and long. This thing here I think is just a ferrite coil and um, all that does is it reduces um, any frequencies that come out of these cables. And there's another one there. That goes in here, it'll only go into one socket and then the battery lead comes out of here and plugs into the link battery socket on your EcoFlow. It does come with this piece of plastic here and that's if you want to remove these. You slide that down here and it enables them to unclip. And look at that. Still just on the table but plugged in. And the engine's just ticking over and the wattage is going up. 600 as it's 92 percent it might not go all the way up to 800 but it looks like it it has 800 eight times faster than using the plug-in cigarette socket and there's the setup as easy as that and can be done anywhere when the sun's come out now i could actually get a solar panel out and plug that in as well <laughs> Well, that was super easy. And this is what it looks like on the app. So on the bottom of the app here, you can reverse charge, confirm. There we go. And it says here, the output wattage is 116. So that's coming out of this cable here, through this unit, and back to charge the van battery up. It shows you what on there. And there's a battery maintenance as well. And you can set the parameters on this. So um, you can set how high you want the voltage to be when it clicks into maintenance and it'll automatically switch it across. And if you go into the settings, you can change all the variables for each unit as well. So if you want to change um, so the charging of the actual unit, you can change the settings of how much you want it to go out. So 800, you can bring that down if you wanted to 400. Um, starting voltage 13, so I could have that up to 30 volts because this will work on 12 volts and 24 volts, or I can bring that right down. So this currently, I'll only start charging when it's on 13 volts, which means you'll have enough power in your battery to start the vehicle super easy to use so this is connected to the battery now the engine switched off there's nothing running so there's no power coming through this and there's no power going into this unit but when i start the vehicle i can reach from here <laughs> It's now seen that this has gone up to 14 volts from my battery, which is over the 13 volts it requires, and the voltage is building up now to charge this unit. How clever is that? <laughs> oh, I really like that, and I like the way they've made it easy to fit. The only thing with any electrical problem is where you're going to actually run the cables and run the unit, and I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking about that. I think I'm going to run the cable down here across into the bottom of my seat and have it in there with the rest of the electrics and just have this lead to pull out to charge it when I need to and if I want to charge it it will if I remove that bin I can slide the unit there and it'll charge it there there we have it all back together Louis dog bed back in place both of them and I've run the cables under here I've put the unit underneath the seat and it just gives me this to plug into the side of the unit when I need to charge this unit 
or when I need to put power from this to the van battery. Check the description for any details, offers, more information. And like always, check all the videos on YouTube about this. So they may have done it in a different way. Just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Lots more videos to come. And uh, we might get out and enjoy some of the reasonable weather. See you on the next one.